I'm telling you parents, I'm telling you kids, do not trust anybody else with your future. Put your future in your hand. So it's no longer an excuse because Doja created blackboards and backboards. What we try to do over here is we try to give the kids a combination of skills and drills. It is a skill. Speed and agility and strength is a skill, okay? You need to develop your skill. Just like your ball handling, just like your classroom, okay? Those are skills that you need to develop. And if you let it slide by, someone else is passing you by, okay? They're going to outwork you, okay? When you do, you're throwing your shoulders back. Flexibility. They get you. Three, one, three. Get forward. Off your heels. There you go. Up on the ball of your feet. Good. Quick reactions. Quick reactions. Push. Come on. Push out. Good. That's it. Push forward. Good. That's better. That's Along with academic and social aspects of their recruiting journey. You guys know that's key. I'm sure your parents drill into your head all day long. Um, you know, I've seen so many players, scholarship players, I heard so many stories, kids couldn't make it because of their GPA, they couldn't get past the clearinghouse. To building your brand. You do it too, because your friends do it. That's my perception. I might have just, you might have just lost the scholarship. There's no, need, there's no need for me to stay for your game. He smokes. I don't know for real. Now, how, how Joey plays? I don't know, coach. He came in and smelled like marijuana with his friends. Uh, we don't want that type of kid. Period, you just lost a scholarship, you don't even know why. Cause you didn't even know who I was. You might have had 30 that night. Nah, we smoke weed. And then what do you think they do? They tell other people, yeah, what's up with him, man? Wasn't y'all recruiting him? Yeah, but we came to a gym one night and he was smoking. Your brand just got ruined because of the people you hang around with. We had kids actually do yoga today, which we're very excited about, as that's gonna strengthen their core, strengthen their mind. Exhale. Inhale, tuck your toes, shift up to tabletop. Exhale, press back into downward facing dog. Lead the students in this camp in some yoga. And um, basically we're just helping them to get longer, get stronger, get lighter, get faster. Um, and I've been trying to basically explain to them that yoga is a way for them to not only strengthen their bodies and become more flexible, but really to center their minds, to be able to have that focus and to not be, um, just not to be bothered by their circumstances, that they are able to know what it is that they want, take aim, and achieve it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out of you nine have been in my gym to work with me. And at some point, I've asked each and every last one of y'all to push through that wall that's in front of you. Because you never know what's on the other side. Once we get to the level of fatigue, that's it, I'm shut down. You have no idea what your limits are because you won't push yourself to the limit. Why? Because I don't think that I'm good at it. How do you know? How do you know? You're not even willing to look and see. Open the door. Open it. Let me see. Let me see what's behind it. Nah, man, I'm tired, that's all I know, man. Just... Uh, you never know. I brought in my friend, my best friend, Steve Silas, who's the assistant coach for the Charlotte Bobcats. He'll come in and do uh, skills and drills with the kids, and we felt like it's a good aspect to add to our academy because he's a top-notch NBA assistant in the league. Love it. Ah, I finished that. Huh? Hey, that's what I'm working on, right? Here with Terrell and his program, and be on the court with the kids and listen to what he says. And you know, just kind of push the push the rock up uphill. You know, and really help as much as I can. So I'm blessed to be here, happy to be here, and I'm ready to get to work. No plan, no bad for the burgundy and gold. We gon' always fight. No plan.
once you lay it in, I'm going to be at the top of the key. Coach will be on the top of the key at that side. You'll hit me, and I want you to set it up. Once you lay the ball in, you're passing it back to the coach. Stop here. I want you to take one step away, and now you're coming off this little curl right here for this little short shot. Hit me, set him up, set him up. Come on. There you go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Good set up. Good set up. Good set up. Basically starts with your education. Um, you, know, you really have to make sure that your education is right so you, once you get to the level that you want to be in. And I'm not against people wanting to make the NBA or having that be a dream of theirs. That's great. But you have to know the odds and you have to understand that the levels that you have to get to. And in order to surpass each level, you have to have a great education. So that's what they need basically to get to the next level. Great opportunity for the kids to work on their run technique. So we did some banded knee drive exercises, banded paw back exercises, we worked some general sprinting mechanics and technique, and then we went over some low level plyometric stuff like some skips and hops, and we did some ladder work. Just having some fun and just trying to get better. So hopefully they can take this information that I gave them today and kind of use it going forward. Marcus Edwards from Height Life teach the kids about doing them, dreaming, overcoming obstacles and understanding their success. Incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain. There are moments when you're going to doubt yourself and say, God, why? My Height Life workshop and Height Life is the business that I started recently to inspire individuals like these youth to rise above their challenges and find success in everything that they do. I'm here because Terrell has a great program going on and He's helping out youth. I wish to do the same thing. It's been a dream of mine, and I'm going to continue to do that. One time or, an, or another, that you can't do something, and you have to believe in your passion and your dreams so much to not let that affect you at all. I don't really like, I don't want to be the same as other people. I want to do unique stuff and be different. Um, it's been a great experience. I've learned a lot and I now know how to get through the system in college. And I'm really like, happy that I went to this game. Well, I would say um, as an athlete, um, it kind of keeps you, you know, keeps the athlete you know, on the track or the track that they need to be on, you know, especially to uh, compete at the collegiate level. Um, and as far as, uh, like you said, mentally. So, so mentally, you can keep, uh, or it helps you, you know, it drives you and puts you in the right, you know, So if this is a great program for any child, I mean, I think we need more programs that show aspects as far as school and basketball instead of just workouts and, and uh, drills. It's another, it's a whole other aspect, which I think is very informative and good to know, especially for parents that don't really have contacts and different things like that to ask questions to. So I think Terrell's doing a good job of implementing both the school side and the sports side. So we're really, really excited. You know, we're doing it here at Green Tech. We're very excited about having it over here at my, my big brother school in the charter school world and to keep expanding our program throughout the capital region. Here you go, here you go, here you go.